Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial for you guys today. Today I'm going to be showing how to clear the cache in Firefox. So if you're experiencing a lot of web page and browser problems, this could definitely help resolve some of your guys' issues. So basically a cache contains local copies of recent web pages you might have visited. So this is done in an effort so that Firefox can load your web page a lot quicker when you're visiting websites in the future so it's not going to require as much bandwidth number one and number two it should speed up your internet experience however if you're experiencing issues with certain websites it could definitely be a good idea to clear your browser's cache so in this brief little tutorial I'll show you guys how to do it it's completely safe and it shouldn't take very long to do this so we're gonna head over to the taskbar and we're gonna left click on the Firefox web browser icon Up at the top right, there should be an icon that should open up more options within Firefox, and it resembles a hamburger in appearance. You want to left click on it, and then you want to left click on the options button that appears to be a gear icon when you're underneath this page. Left click on the privacy tab on the left side. Underneath history on this page, left click on where it says clear your recent history. It's all part of this one sentence here, but if you hover over it, you can see that it's clearly a link to something else. So this will actually clear all of our history if we set it to. If you want, you can deselect all of these except for cache. I repeat, keep cache checkmarked right here. I'm just going to keep the other ones checkmarked because I don't feel like unchecking them. And generally, I would recommend just keeping all the recommended ones checked. So since cache is checkmarked right now, we're going to left click on clear now. And it should be a pretty quick process. And once you're done, you can close out of your web browser, reopen Firefox, and try and load any web pages you might have been experiencing issues with. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.